here we are, World of YouTube. I got a little extra time tonight, and I am excited. But I'm too bad, I'm too late. I'm going to do a little run through here, but got to be careful. As you can see, we're at Falling Down Home of the Russell Farm House. I believe we're in Winchington, Mass. I had a viewer on my video that I took of this due to the fact that I took pictures of a joke one day to put up online due to this house being falling down as you can see the ruins. Right down there is like the basement. All the floors have completely dropped through. I mean, I cannot literally climb through this. I'm going to see what I can get over here. Due to the fact that right this place is literally just right here. If you see this beam, that is one of the... Uh, that That's the wall that... Uh, is out in the front of the house, literally the, uh, damn it, what do you call it, um, the boards that, uh, the siding of the house, that was the siding scene, and, uh, I mean, as you can see here, the ruins that laid down, but the reason why I came here to take some pictures and to get this shot at night to see if I catch anything any kind of noises, uh, due to the fact you think being out here on the back road, yeah, there are a bunch of people out here tonight, fucking insane, and actually there is a house over there, so I can't stay too long, but <laughs> you'd think this place would be kind of, you know, quiet out here, but no, there's people out here driving around like, uh, like nothing, probably doing their back road drinking or something, but, <laughs> But why do I come here tonight, you ask? It's due to the fact that there's been two ghost sightings. One is with the person, they have a video up. And uh, I gotta. I will have to pull that in the district description box. <clears throat> with the uh, name of the uh, YouTube user that came here. Now all they do, they don't narrate. Like I do. But they visit abandoned houses. And this was one of them. And the person took pictures. And you know put it through a slideshow. Through the video. Instead of narrating in it. But as they were in this house. Taking the pictures. They said. And as I can now smell the mildew. Of course of the old rotting wood. But. Not only did they smell this rotting wood. They smelled perfume. And every time they'd walk into another room, this perfume smell would follow them. It would go from smelling mildew, plus there was mattresses and stuff in front. There was stuff in this house. I don't know, it must be all buried now, but I don't see what was in the videos. But them videos <laughs> were made in 2009, mind you. And uh, like I say, they just went around through this house. And that perfume, that's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to see if I can smell it or if it happens to come up. But also, I uh, have this uh, webpage I'm on. And I can't disclaimer too much about what you post on these things. But someone did mention, like I said, I can't do for, due to... Uh, what, how should I say it? Because I don't want to get this person involved. And they don't want too much publicity with themselves. But all I can say is these people see things in pictures. That's all I can say. And they literally saw a girl in a sundress. And this was from a picture I took off from the road during broad daylight. Like I said, what turned into a joke to throw up on the internet. To some friends and stuff and family. You know, hey, I just found a house for sale. Anybody interested to buy? Ha, ha, ha. Right? Laughing it, thinking it's funny because this house is for sale. Signs outside the road sold by, I believe, Century 21. And it comes with two acres, um, two sides of the street, mind you. I think 
This was a whole operating farm, like I said, Russell Farm. But whatever lies beneath and beyond these, this house <laughs> is beyond me, but whatever that person had here was a strange experience, and now I'm here to try and see what I can get. As you can see, I got my, of course, my lead light. And these lead lights, I can tell you right now, I like due to the fact of being one, very bright, you can see, but two, ghosts are attracted to light, like candles. Back in the day, you want to get a ghost attraction. Candles are the best thing to do. And for some reason, ghosts, but with this lead light and they're beaming and they see this, it's like, whoa, what's that? <laughs> oh yeah, you get some activity. So I won't see nothing if I do see something through the phone, I mean... We are in a cloudy night, but honestly, other than that, there is no wind tonight. And I don't believe there's, there's no dust particles going to be flying around these. I did do some shorter videos I put up, ghost orbs from Wilton, New Hampshire Cemetery. That was <clears throat> the uh, Vale in Cemetery. I got short videos up. Orbs are shooting across the phone. And a couple of them I didn't see or even really pay attention to when I first gone through the video. One of them I just seen for the first time. But if anything's here tonight, I'm sure we're going to get something flashing by. Hopefully within the next... I'm only going to be enough time to stay here for... It's already been six minutes. I'll give it another five, ten minutes. Then I'm gonna head out, but I'm gonna. I already flashed some pictures throughout this wreckage, ruins. But now we're gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna pipe down. And like I always do, and always say, and I'm gonna start saying it more often whoever is here, you can come into the light. As you can see, my hand, shadow. Whatever it may be. But if you're still in these ruins, the lady with the perfume or the little girl in the sundress, you come into this light and you show or manifest yourself or even make a sound or forever hold your peace. Speak now or forever hold your peace. down the way but what the hell someone's goddamn yelling but I'm gonna be quiet and see what this is if you hear me walking it's cause I'm gonna go out what the fuck <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah let's get some quietness here and see what's happening Someone may be calling their dog, but damn.
Oh, well, here comes a car, gonna fuck up everything, but in a way, it's kind of good, because now I get to see, and nothing down there, holy fuck, oh yeah, now whether or not I got this on tape, as you can see, the car down there was a goddamn motherfucking light, and my goddamn hair is standing on the back of my neck now. Something was yelling. The light was in the goddamn middle of the road. And this is no joke. My fucking goosebumps are standing. Oh man, whatever that was. And I think something fucking down there. Again, I don't know if this could be a prank. But whatever the fuck it is, man. <laughs> oh boy. That was just insane, and that car just went down there, I seen nothing. There was nobody, nobody down there. Holy shit. I'm hoping, and the yelling has stopped. Now, I will say that there is houses. Oh man, I'm just chills running up my spine. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm taking me a little spin. Hey, hopefully nothing happens, but this is who I am and what I do. Fear nothing, but it is creepy that I just got all that yelling. There is houses down there. I could say it's someone hitting their dog, but <laughs> mama, Russell Hill Farm. Oh, Russell, Russell Farm. I can just, I'm gonna go down here a little bit and see if something. Because right now, there's no more light. No more light. That car just drove down this damn road. Nothing was here. Nothing. I didn't see no one in the road. Oh, my man. I'm just... And the yelling has stopped. You know, when I was driving through these woods to get here, boy. I tell you, when I see these woods... They seem dark as hell, and I don't mean at night. I'm talking about evil. So I can just imagine what's laying in these woods. Oh, man. And nothing has came out yet. I'm hoping I got that. I know I got the yelling. Of course, everything happens when I'm trying to narrate. Narrate. But nothing's happening now. That light ain't even coming out in this road. And I'm pretty much uh, ways down from where I was. Hoping my camcorder stays running for now. For a few more minutes. 
I'm telling you, I didn't see nobody down here when that car just drove. And I'm kind of glad that car just drove down there. I mean, oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, when I come to out somewhere haunting, I'm already 15 minutes, 16 minutes in this video, boy. I tell you, I attract something. This is no joke, and I do this by myself, by myself, mind you. Sometimes, yes, I say, my <clears throat> wife might be with me, but she sits in the car. If my son's with me, he sits in the car. And right now, I see nothing, nothing. As far as I've come down here, and I'm spinning to see what's around me, nothing. My lead light is still on. I don't hear no more yelling and that light's gone. You would think if it was a walker looking for something and that's probably what it was. It would hear me talking, it would come out, it would do something, something would do in a, oh, I hope I got that on from what I got. And I gotta get home and check this. That being said, I got to get back out here again. And I'm going to tell you something. There's a uh, another channel that added themselves to me, Mark Flynn. And he said in his videos, because he's a paranormal investigator himself too, that in between October and November, he gets a lot of activity in Right now, we're in the midst, in the mid-Indian summer. Fall months, Indian summer. A lot of things happen, I guess, through that summertime, baby. And I'm still standing here. I'm not even, I would say, a eh, hundred yards from where that light was shining and nothing's coming out yet. Oh, yeah, man. Ah. Well, my battery's dying. I got to get out of here. I got to go check that out. And, uh, son of a bitch. I can't believe I just caught that. I hope I caught it. I hope I caught it. That light was in the middle of the road. That car just drove down there, and there was nobody down there. I hope I got that light. Because I was moving the phone back and forth to see it. You know, <laughs> I'm about to wonder if the damn thing was communicating with me. Like me showing its light, it showed it light. I turned, it turned, and then it just disappeared. Oh, man. Anyways, I got to get out of here. My battery's going to die. But YouTube, I will be back in this area. Oh, I will be with more video. I'm going to see what I can have from other phones. I'm going to get me some activity, boy. I'm going to go down that way and see what I get. Till that next video, YouTube Nation. I got to know what that yelling was. Oh, oh, man. Be safe. Take care. And believe. Believe.